everybody, it's Book Learn. Books are for nerds! Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Suggestion Box, a game by Bitosu. Now, if you remember from my Headliner playthrough, uh, I made choices about news articles that would affect the state of my country. It's a similar concept here, where you're trying to affect the stock of your company. Let me show you what I mean. Let's play the game. All right, so as you can see up here, I can only deny three suggestions, but there's obviously gonna be more of those. There are gonna be more suggestions than there are denials, uh, and everything affects the stock of my company. Uh, so let's see here, suggestion. You should make my dog CFO. He's a good boy, I promise. Well, let's go. Oh, what? Come on. You don't want a certified financial officer that can bork. He can bork. He's a good boy. Virtual pizza. Hell yeah. Really? Okay. I have to be a little more uh, choosy with my options here. World renowned food critic dies attempting to eat a virtual pizza ad. No! No, no, no! We killed Fry Giari. Gian. Giannorio! He. <laughs> He passed away! This is bad! A robot that reads for you? Yes! Yes, absolutely! Average amount of books read per adult skyrockets. At least for overruns to his product, the auto reader, the average amount of books read per American adult yearly, uh, yearly skyrocketed from 2 to 3 to 67,342, with the amount of people. Uh, setting their auto readers to maximum speed 24-7. Americans can now finally appear to be informed about having to actually read. Hey man, that's my favorite kind of reading. When you don't actually have to pay attention, man, I spark notes the hell out of, well I used to spark notes the hell out of things back in high school. Who needs book learning? Books are for nerds! Force ghosts to file my taxes. Those goddamn spectral bastards have had it good for too goddamn long. That up my stock? Ghostly labor leaves thousands changing wills. After Oberon released the, its latest invention, a device which hum, harnesses the spirits of the dead so they may file the, Wait, harnesses the spirits of the dead? Nani? Wh why do I have this kind of technology? <laughs> Whatever. So they may file the taxes uh, uh, of the living thousands. Uh, bleh, so they may file the taxes of the living. Thousands have rushed to file anti-spiritual labor forms, prohibiting the harnessing of their spiritual energy after death for any busy work, including tedious tax forms leaving the... I can't read the rest of this. Well, I'm sure it's it's not important. And besides, the headline's the only real important thing. Fish brain the computer. I don't see why not. Shit. Okay, our computers rot within days. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just cuts to the chase and file for bank. Yeah, fuck you, guy. I ain't filing for bankruptcy. What are like Red Lobster? Nah, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm not. I'm not giving people goblin hunting equipment. That's not happening. Computers that charge users a dollar each time it's powered on. <laughs> That's diabolical. That worked? All right. Oberon's discount PCs charge users thousands yearly. I mean, I don't see what's the problem with that. I mean, it's like I could be a company that uh, creates products that are intentionally designed to not last more than a year or so without breaking horribly and then weld all the pieces together so that you have to eventually buy the newer product because it keeps getting obsolete every seven to 10 months. I don't know, something that a company that was like named after a fruit had a man who was notorious for wearing turtlenecks. Ah, I can't remember the name. That's ah, probably not important. Make computers dumber so they don't outsmart humans. Everybody has seen the Terminator, and I'm pretty sure they could agree that um, you don't want Cyberdyne murdering your face. And you don't want to have your computer go, come with me if you want to live, <laughs> and then shoot your iPhone with a shotgun. So, yeah, dumber computer. Oh. Oh, they began to auto post about politics. Oh, crap. 
That, that's on me, guys. I, I should have known. Um, fake license maker. I mean, I can see the benefits of that from a business perspective. Am I bankrupt now? Crap, my stock was not great. Well, let me try that again a little less stupid. Hotel for birds, absolutely. My feathering need a place to rest their heads after a long day of stealing bread from children and pooping on literally everything. That dropped my stock and I'm angry. Birds nationwide unable to pay for boat, bird hotel. Hey man, get a job you filthy feathered hippie. If you can't afford to stay at my hotel, then I mean, don't stay at my hotel. Uh, how are, actually, this was ridiculous enough at home. Birds nationwide jump with joy upon hearing Oberon's plans to construct a hotel specifically for birds. But after catching word of the hefty prices and their refusal to accept bird seed as payment, hundreds of birds found themselves unable to foot the bill. There's definitely a bird pun in there somewhere. <laughs> for their stay at the hotel. It says, spawned an entire subculture of bird spreading methods of... of Entering and exiting the... Okay, so I can't read the rest of that because, you know, only so much. <laughs> hey, man. If you can't... I can't accept bird seed. I need actual money. I'm going to call it Ted Towers. I'm going to have my, my, my name in big, bold letters that you can put on, on the side. My name will be known all over the place. Everyone will see that my... I have the biggest paws. <laughs> One day, I'll probably even get rich enough to run for president, even though I'm woefully underqualified. Uh, <laughs> power your, uh, your officers with electric rowboats. Now, this sounds like a bad idea, but I want to see how it would work. Damn it. Oberon office is not sufficiently powered by rows. Damn it. Okay, that was not the play. That was a bad plan. Phones that actively resist user commands. Oh, they stage a protest. I think I just started the human synthetic war. Did I just create the Geth from Mass Effect? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, dude. Uh, thousands of newly sentient Oberon phones found themselves discontent with their owners and began to organize protests and strikes with the ultimate goal of complete sovereignty and freedom over their human masters. This protest has sparked both outrage over Oberon's allowance of phone sentience and debate over whether humans have the right to exploit phones. I just created the Geth from Mass Effect. Oh crap, I'm really bad at business. Fish to English translator. Now, I don't know about you, my dear viewer, but have you ever sat across the table from a fish trying to write the Great Bear Fish Treaty of 1806. And you're wondering, what is that brine sucking bastard thinking? Well, wonder no more, my friends. Your boy King Titty's got your back. And he has the fish to English translator. Blub, blub, motherfucker. F that rose my stock. Hell yeah. Fish finds news, finds news job. Fish happy. Fish, very happy. Fish can talk to human now. This make fish very happy. This make fish happy. Very happy. Now fish can write. Fish write good. Very good. Fish heard journalist water gates. Fish good at watering gates. Very good. Fish get paid very well for watering gates. So many brown pellets. Very okay tasting. Fish understand that he must write certain amount of human words. Fish running out of good one. Fish very scared. <laughs> yes. Greatest invention of all time. When they when, when you look at the history books in 30 years, you're gonna see Albert Einstein, you're gonna see Robert Oppenheimer, you're gonna see your boy King Ted sitting there being like, I made fish talk. Let's go. Smartphone for cats. 
This can only end positively. Hell yeah! Cats ignore phones and humans that bought them. <laughs> that sounds about right. And there was Oberon Phone, the first specifically designed for cats, was initially met with praise from cat lovers nationwide. But as cat owners began to bring these phones home, they came to, real to the realization that no product will ever change the fact that cats will never particularly care for their owners no matter how much you try. <laughs> Oh no. I, I'm just gonna stamp my approval all over that. There we go. Computer program that writes movie scripts. I've read enough bad Harry Potter fanfic to know that's never gonna end well. Do I accept? No, I don't. Start a pyramid scheme. Hell yeah! Oh, those don't go away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, have some market pyramid scheme called Oberon Pyramid Scheme. <laughs> oh, I actually can't read most of this. Shoot. All right. No, wait, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Well, boys, this is going to be a wash. Uh, I tried my best. Uh, provide ferret insurance to all employees. Oh. Please give me a job. Hell yeah! Oh! Card by voice command? There we go. Can I borrow 10 bucks? That didn't work. Oh. Force goes to file my taxes. Device that smells fear. Throw money at your cut. Oh my god! My stocks! Hang on. Let me restart that mulligan. We're gonna go one more round. <coughs> Fuck you, ghost. File my taxes. Seen that one? Device that smells fear. Horror movies now market using Oberon fear ratings. Spooky Goblin House 5. The way... Oh, my favorite movie series of all time. The latest in the horror film series has employed a fresh new technique to market itself to the public by using Oberon's fear detector on test audiences. The film can scientifically prove its high fear factor. The film ranks as a 7.2 among audiences. Hey man, if I can detect fear, I'm in. I'm fine with that. Computers with a cell, no! Smartphone for cats, a... Are you seeing my stocks? Boy, I'm up there. A robot that reads for you. Start a pyramid. Ooh. I'm not giving you a job, guy. Not, no, 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 no. Provide fair insurance. This is going to drop my stocks a lot. Actually, that raised my customer approval. All right. Full activity resists user commands. I can't. No! Oh, got reset. I want to, I want to try this. Just to uh, drop my stuff. Oberon Scriptbot can't stop remaking its own movies. No! I've... <laughs> I've contributed to the modern Hollywood epidemic of constantly remaking things even though they don't need to be remade. Scriptbot, a machine developed by Oberon to help Hollywood producers design its the perfect blockbuster, has found itself in a creative rut after it, crea after it created one original script. The bar has since created nothing but remakes of the film ever since, only slight dialogue alterations and casting choices. <laughs> no! I've become the modern film industry. Instant noodles that is actually ready instantly? Hot day! What? Alright, bullshit. Hang on. Why was that? You're, you're telling me you don't want noodles that can magically be ready the second you want them? You ever been sitting down going, oh yeah, I really want noodles in my mouth. I don't want to have to wait the five minutes to do it. I, I don't know about that last one. That, mm, I don't know. But <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I can stamp things again. Yay. So that'll do it for me, everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's been a fun little game. Uh, I, I hope I hope that shows you, you know, how to run a business. Your boy King Ted could probably do some like 
Joel Osteen style like talk shows about like how to run your best business and <laughs> probably scam you out of your money. <laughs> but uh, at some point during my business runtime, we had both max stocks and max approval. So I'm okay with that. That's a win in my book. So thank you all so much for watching. And without further ado, roll the outro. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like or a comment down in the comment section below. And why not subscribe and join the Cup Collective today? And if you have a friend or family member that you think might enjoy my content, feel free to recommend me to them. That being said, I want to thank you all again, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.